All right, welcome to All Fired Up 2020, the Costhaven District Motorcycle Restorers Club annual first week in January Motorcycle Expo. We're going to move into the 70s bikes in this particular episode and we start off with a well-maintained little Yamaha 200 electric here, complete with the original rack on the back, a screen at the front and twin mirrors, still with all its original paintwork and blue and gold and electric star. Next to it is a Kawasaki Z900 modified with a four into one exhaust pipe yes four into one exhaust pipe from 1976 so they make it a Z900A4 one of the common bikes that uh, restorers look for if they can't afford the original Jaffa model these make lovely bikes they've got very much the similar features as the early Jaffas that famous ducktail seat on it or seat cover side covers and it's in lovely green and gold there and next to it is a total contrast in purple let's try again in orange is a Laverta now this bike's had an interesting history it's been virtually rebuilt it came out at the United States originally and has been pretty much a brand new bike here in Australia 1972 it was originally made Twin cylinder 750 SFC. That one next to it is the more road going version, the 1974 750 SF, as distinct from the SFC, which was built for endurance racing. Lovely 750 twin bike again, little tidy box on the back and in its original silver colour. And Yamaha 1974 TX 650, coming out the early XS1s, XS1F, XS1B, um, and XS2 Yamahas moved along to the TX series to bring it in line with the TX750, TX500 before they changed the names again. So this electric start overhead cam 650. These Yamaha 650s were virtually the death knell of the British bikes in that they didn't leak oil for a start. They had electric start on them. They were known for reliability. In fact they're still sidecars racing using the 650 motor it can be bored out well in excess of 810 cc's next door a suzuki gsx 1100 double overhead cam 16 valve four cylinder with four into one exhaust pipe from 1980. So it's the Suzuki GSX 1100. The British hadn't given up entirely because in 1970, as I was mentioning before, they had the Bonnies. And this is one in pristine condition. Bonnie Twin. nineteen seventy three we looked at Norton earlier this is an eight fifty commando as distinct from the seven fifty that we saw before this bike has been extensively restored the owner has done all the engine work on it the frame and supplied a dossier of how they did the work all the parts that were replaced what they looked like right down to handfuls at nuts and bolts and how they found the bike originally in February 2016 right up to 2020 when you see the bike now. So that's a lovely 850 Norton Commando. 
Next door is a German BMW R90 stroke 6, 900 cc's. Horizontally opposed, boxer twin. Lovely bike, from 1974. With its bin carburetors on it. And just to show that they could do it slightly differently, but very similar, is the BMW R100. Now, this particular bike has a very interesting history. This was actually a, originally a Japanese police bike. When it was imported into Australia, it came with the flashing blue lights that used to pop out. But the owner decided that uh, they want to make a cafe racer out of it. So this is the resultant R100 from BMW. Changed the cockpit in it. Took the blue flashing lights off it. And put this lovely cafe racer tile on it. Nice magnesium wheels there. Of course, the shaft drive. So that's some bikes from the 1970s at the Coffs Harbour District Motorcycle Restorers Club annual rally at the Coffs Harbour Showground first week in July. Remember hit the subscribe button and you'll see future episodes.